everyone, um, I'm just doing another quick fragrance review, I know I just did one, um, but this is uh, Yuzu and Coco by The Lush Kitchen. If I cough, I'm really sorry, I've just like had the flu for the last week, so um, please just ignore me being ill. Um, but anyway, um, I'm just going to do this quick review now because I'm on a bit of a roll, I have kind of 15 minutes to spare, and I've been wanting to review this for ages. So this came out just before Christmas. Um, it's probably come out before because the Lush Kitchen often bring back um, kind of specials of their shower gels and other products. But I believe this is still for sale actually. Um, if It's not sold out yet if you still want this, I believe. Last time I checked, about a week ago it was. Um, so if you're interested in buying this, please uh, check out the Lush Kitchen website right now and get it before it, get, it goes. Um, the Lush Kitchen, if you don't know, um, they do limited edition products. Sometimes they're completely original scents or original products. Sometimes they do things from the regular Lush um, store that are in a different form. So, for example, Yuzu and Coco um, exists in shower gel form in the permanent collection at Lush and also in the yellow bubble rune. And if you've never smelled, I'm going to do this review as if you've never tried that, but I would say that if you have tried that and you love those products, then this is definitely a really good investment because you get to smell like that all the time. Um, it's obviously a lot stronger than using the shower gel or the bubble room. But anyway, um, I'm going to pretend like you don't know um, what this smells like. So as you can see, it comes in a bottle like this and the liquid is this kind of um, almost like a whiskey kind of colour. It's this really dark burnt caramel colour. And so it's called Yuzu and Coco. Lush scents. And then the uh, tagline is the dreamer of chocolate orange dreams. So as you can guess from this, it's kind of a chocolate orange scent. And that's quite true of all the Yuzu and Coco scented products. I've tried the, I don't think I've tried the bubble room. I've smelt it, but I've never used it um, kind of myself. But I have tried the shower gel a couple of times and I absolutely love the shower gel. It's the bright yellow shower gel. It's just so yellow. And also the bubble room is yellow as well. And this smells, um, it does, it smells like chocolate orange, like Terry's chocolate orange. Um, but also there's a coconut -y vibe to this. And I wouldn't say that that... Um, it, usually when you have coconut in a fragrance it smells tropical but in this case um it doesn't really smell tro tropical it just adds to that gourmandness that sweetness that yumminess um the three kind of different aspects of the scent work together in that recipe the chocolate the orange and the cocoa it just makes such a nice comforting fragrance um it's great for winter and autumn it's just super kind of cozy and yummy and warm. And the coconut as well gives it quite a nice vibe because it's not just chocolate orange. It gives it that kind of like almost uplifting um, sharpness as well. The coconut in this, um, it, it's, I mean, I would say it's it's both creamy and dry, if you understand what I'm saying by that. Um, it does remind me of kind of, coconut sprinkles on a cake or when you taste like a coconut cake but also it does have like a creamy almost like shampoo or conditioner coconut shampoo or conditioner vibe as well and this particular perfume which you don't have really have in the shower gel or in the bubble room also has a slightly alcoholic aspect I don't know if that's because it's a perfume and sometimes perfumes do have that slightly like alcohol um, type vibe to them or if it's just the combination of these three particular aspects of the fragrance make an uh, alcohol -y vibe. Um, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, it's not like you're going to walk around smelling like alcohol. I just mean, you know, it has almost like a scotch whiskey vibe to it as well, just in the kind of undertones. And when you first spray this, I think actually the coconut is one of the strongest aspects of the scent. I don't know if there's actually a coconut note in this or if it's just the combination of those, the whatever notes are in it, making that coconut um, kind of smell. I'll just double check that actually. I've, I've kind of heard a rumour that there's no coconut in this. Um, I'll see if it's on um, Fragrantica. It's, it's not on Fragrantica, so um, I'm just kind of going to go on what's on the back. So it has bergamot oil, 
cocoa absolute and tonka, tonka absolute grapefruit fruit oil and then i think the rest are just kind of generally what you have in perfumes um so there isn't like a coconut ingredients but that's not to say there isn't a coconut note in this now so there definitely is so you do get the coconut and then it, it kind of warms up and and then you you get kind of that nice scotch whiskey aspect you get that um orange the chocolate aspect come out and this is actually a really strong fragrance so if you spray this like people are going to be able to smell you and you are going to be able to smell yourself like for a really long time so just be a little bit cautious when spraying this it is a i believe it's an eau de parfum let's see if it says usually they are but it says limited edition fragrance suitable for vegans unless i'm being really stupid i can't see if it says eau de parfum or eau de toilette but this is um sorry that was just the most gross snort you've ever heard in your life sorry about that this is a really long lasting fragrance i would say it doesn't stay at that same projection throughout the day people aren't going to be able to smell you all day when you first spray this just be cautious because it really does project but this does last most of the day i would say you can maybe reapply after about six hours if you want to but generally speaking um I would say actually it's probably best to under apply this and then respray it if you have to rather than to over spray yourself first thing in the morning and kind of stink out everyone in the office. I'm not saying that, that you know it's a bad thing but you know if people are sensitive to perfumes then I wouldn't necessarily like go crazy spraying this because they're going to be able to smell you which is a good thing for me because I love like going crazy and spraying my perfumes. Luckily I don't really work in a atmosphere where like an office place so i can kind of do that um but you know just be aware <laughs> if otherwise but anyway that's my review of yuzu and coco the perfume um like i said i do love the other products so if you were considering getting this i would just get it if it's still available because um just get it before it sells out but if you wanted to kind of smell what this smells like then i would suggest going to lush and try in the shower gel or the bubble rune um so yeah thank you i have got some more more lush fragrances to um review at some point in the near future sorry i'm just putting it back in my drawer so um hopefully i'll get around to doing that i have got amelie may which i think i did an unboxing of um i think i uploaded that and also i have the what else do i have american cream as well to review before i use it all up because i will use it up really quickly okay so thank you for watching bye